this uh, Telecaster body is the original body that uh, I played my guitar with for years. Uh, this is not a real Telecaster body. Actually, it's made by a company called Stage Guitars out of Texas. Years ago, when we were playing in our band, The Fifth of Dixie, our producer got me this guitar because my uh, beautiful acoustic electric was stolen and this was all I had to play. I've since fixed it up with new hardware and stuff on it. I had bought a new neck for it and uh, it, it played okay but the problem is, is that the dimensions of this uh, body are actually different than a Telecaster which uh, kind of throws off the intonation. It's, it's hard to really keep it tuned properly. So that's why I bought the other body. I'm going to take all the hardware off of this and hopefully it'll, it'll all install in that other body. I wanted everybody to see this before I tear it apart. Just got this shipped to me the other day. This is a Fender Telecaster body made by uh, Stuart McDonald. They're up in Ohio. They, uh, gosh, they make and, and sell all kinds of parts and stuff that you can use to repair or, or uh, build guitars. This is going to go on my Telecaster. It's a much lighter body than what you would normally get with a Telecaster because of this body relief here. And also another part of it here is relief. Light as a feather and beautiful wood. I think they call this Obichi wood. This is a shot of the new guitar body. As you can see, I've got uh, grain filler, or wood filler, all over the body. And it's all over the back and the sides, too. Now, with this uh, grain filler on here, when it's sanded down, It'll make a much smoother finish uh, on, in the final final finish. Okay, here's the body sanded down the next day. You can just see the haze of the, the wood filler. Here. And mainly that's just filling the grain so that when I get a primer coat on it and get that sanded down, it'll be smooth, completely smooth. You won't see much grain at all. Now here's the body, primered and sanded with uh, fine 300, 320 grit sandpaper. It's a good thing to keep in mind after you do any painting and sanding on your paint that you use what they call a tack cloth to get any dust off of the, the paint before you paint over it. Well, this is my attempt at getting a nice metallic color coat put on my guitar. It could have turned out better, but uh, I think with a little buffing out here and uh, painting with some clear coat, it'll come out looking pretty nice. Okay, here's the two bodies side by side. The one with the dark blue is the one I've just done got done finishing and it is the standard Telecaster type body. The old body here that I had for my guitar for years is, is quite there's quite a bit of difference in the socket for the neck. The size differences if you see I had to have this underneath here to make sure that the neck was high enough above the, the pickups. And as you can see that's almost three eighths of an inch longer than what this is a standard Fender Telecaster cut here. When Stu Mac makes them, they make sure that they're exact. Okay, this is a final shot of the Telecaster. I put the neck on it, back on it, and uh, fix the electronics. I had to put a new neck pickup on it because the other one was open. It wouldn't work. 
Down south of New Orleans. Put a new pick guard on it, too. And, uh, I don't think she turned out too bad. Not for old country boy. 